for thunderstorms. Chief Meteorologist Joe Diaz has your certified most accurate forecast. Yeah, storms winding down here in the metro area. Stay away from the Royals, though. Uh, some of them are flowing pretty good across the western part of the city, but uh, these storms are now focused over the East Mountains, and a new flash flood warning was issued there until 8 o'clock tonight. One to two inches of rain has already fallen, so stay away from the uh, Royals and don't cross the flooded roads. Look at uh, around 415, you can see those thunderstorms just blasting parts of Rio Rancho down into areas around I-40 and Coors, some with heavy hail, or at least hail covering the ground, small hail at times. Now look how these collapse. New storms form up right over the East Mountain, so be careful on that I-40 trip. There's also some hail with that as well, moving in an easterly direction about 17 miles an hour. But these purple shades, that's heavy rain. You can see it just north of Edgewood, continuing all throughout the East Mountains there. And earlier, radar estimates of uh, four-tenths to about an inch of rain all up and down areas west of the river. So yes, it was a good soaker as this high pressure system starts to shift around. We'll see a shifting in the showers and thunderstorms. Now tomorrow, they'll be primarily across the higher terrain throughout the southern half of the state. We do have burn scars there, so that's going to be a concern. And not to say it's not going to storm up in northern New Mexico, just be a tad less active. Going into Wednesday, though, different story. More humid air comes in, stalled front works on in, and uh, showers and thunderstorms start to increase, and this would be a big concern for the burn scars there. Then when the humid air pushes into central parts of the state, we'll get an uptake in those showers and thunderstorms and pockets of heavy rain as we work on into Thursday across the western two-thirds of New Mexico. But uh, kind of quiet skies over the next couple of days and certainly hot throughout the Four Corners region. Then we'll see increasing showers and thunderstorms Thursday on into Friday and Saturday. Southwest, those thunderstorms around the mountains, the burn scars would be a big concern and showers and storms will pick up Wednesday on into Thursday. Southeast, well, it's going to be just spotty showers and thunderstorms around Aruadoso down into Alamogordo. Some could be heavy across the higher terrain. Uh, spot showers and thunderstorms southeastern parts of the state, but continued brutal heat in Roswell with uh, temperatures 102 to 104 for a time. And a little down day. Enjoy it because showers and thunderstorms as that front works in Wednesday and Thursday will be on the increase and heavy rain is a possibility. So we all have to be very diligent about that as well and make sure that we uh, don't cross any flood roads and seek higher ground if that flooding becomes imminent. Uh, a kind of a down day throughout northern sections of the state. 86 over in Taos and showers and thunders increasing uh, Wednesday on into Thursday and Friday throughout the Santa Fe area as more humid air starts to back in and a quiet start will give way to a hot afternoon. Room for a passing shower or storm. It'll pick up a bit more as we get into Wednesday and a bit more on Thursday as showers and thunderstorms form in the nearby mountains and then start to drift off into uh, some of the more populated areas and then isolated scattered storms will be with us for Friday and Saturday, less active Sunday on into Monday. So uh, there you get it. We got a high of 92 degrees today, but uh, during the four o'clock hour or during it really about 3.30 in the afternoon, big downpours in areas around uh, the western section of the city, around Rio Rancho down to I-40 and Coors into the South Valley. But things are quieting there now, but big storms and that flash flood warning out in the East Mountains. So be careful over there. All right, we will. Thanks, Joe.